All right, so welcome to Monster Mash. Monster Mashup, I should say. Um, basically, we have a collection of magazines here. Each one has a creature behind it. And what we're gonna do is pick a part of the animal, um, insect or whatever we see, and draw it into our creature on the right. The weirder it is, the more fun it is. Um, and then I also like, you know, suggest trying to think of like a name, it's Genesis, you know, the origin of the species, just kind of have fun with it. So as you can see right here, the first one is a mouse, and we're gonna go ahead and just draw part of the mouse. I started with the eye, and I'm just gonna make it super big in the center, and that's gonna really force me to kind of make it super odd. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, say eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 of these images. Um, so we're gonna give ourselves kind of like a minute each to draw it out. So let's mash it up, um, starting the minute now. One second here. So, okay, you can go. And I've already got a little bit of a head start on this, but we're down to, we got 50 seconds right now. So I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit more shading on mine. It's a good time to kind of work, you know, if you want to do some shading and just blending it with your, your finger, go in and do thick lines, thin lines, just really make a, a high contrast happen. So just one big giant mouse eyeball in the center. Ta-da, I'm gonna get a little bit of fuzz. You got 17 seconds. And here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, the next piece will be da -da 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 -da, the red panda. And starting the minute now. So grab another part of the panda you'd like, toss it in there. Like I said, the, the sillier the better. Now the mouth's kind of awkward to me, so. I might stick that there. If I put it down here, I know that's gonna be scary. <laughs> Actually, the in general is scary. So, let me see where else I could put this. Maybe I'll just put a few red panda ears up here. I'm just lightly going in with my H pencil. Uh, I kind of like that, so I'm going to stick with that. So I'll go in now with my darker pencil. I know I couldn't see those lines, but it's just a, a quick reference to help guide me what direction I want to go. Okay. Bring some more fuzz over here. All right. That looks like the minute is over. Okay. Yeah, I think we should do two minutes. All right, we changed our mind. We're gonna go to two minutes. Because we realize one minute is not enough. All right. And go for it. Two minutes. Now you got a minute and 20 seconds. No pressure, no monster mesh pressure there. So if when it comes to fur, the more random you can be with your lines, looks more realistic. Try to avoid uh, patterns 
as it would happen in nature. All right, so I'm situating my ears at the top and that'll allow me to kind of work off some other angles down here. Even the back, I guess this is more of a, a creative exercise of putting the puzzle together in your mind. You're gonna have a lot of uh, monsters by the end of this whole thing. All right, where are we at time-wise? Got 25 seconds. All right, just get your last minute details in there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, the next one we have on the list. Dun, dun, dun. We got the otter. Out of time. All right, start the two minutes now. We're gonna put this other weirdness. Let's see, get some more fuzz. Hmm, I'm gonna put the mouth around here. I'm just gonna kind of duplicate what I'm seeing around here. Mouth is super dark, so I'm just gonna really block that in. So you always squint your eyes and kind of see with the lights and darks on this. We're at one minute. I don't know, I like the little eyes too, so I'm gonna add some little eyes down here. This thing's gonna see every rich direction direction. I do like the other tufts of hair happening around the nose. Let me see what time I got. Got 25 seconds. All right, so wrap up those last details. I'll put some shadow right here at this part of the otter. A little shadow over there. Okay. One second and we got it. All right, next two minute mark. Our next piece is da -da -da, kangaroo. Actually, let's do llama. Llama's bigger. <laughs> <Do Ooh>. llama. <laughs> That's easier to see. All right, two minutes start now. Ooh, look at all this matted hair. This could be fun. That's a great nose though. I can't decide. Hmm, I'm going for the dreadlocks. So I'm taking my H pencil again and just making some light lines so I know where I'm going with this. Okay, now that I have that, I'm gonna go with my dark pencil. Ken gets his yard done on Thursdays. It's time. All right, lots of llama hair coming in, and I'm going to squint my eyes again and see where the dark spots are at. Really try to build those up. Go ahead and blend with the finger. We're at 37 seconds. Okay, 
me 16 seconds. That's really like an alien sky dog. All right. And two minutes are up. All right. Next one we got. Elefante. Two minutes. Go. Hmm. What to choose on this one? The trunk seems the most obvious. I've got too many ears to put in there. I'm gonna have to go with the trunk. So I'm gonna do my line here. I'll grab the bottom part of the trunk. Wrap it around. This is a little bit smoother. Get a few bumps. Some wrinkles in there. And we're at we got here. 40 seconds. Plenty of time, right? <laughs> so like thumbs up. We got this. For those of you watching this video later, I'm just chatting with my, my classmates here and seeing their responses. They got thumbs up or thumbs down to my questions. Just got him on mute so we can just record what I'm saying. It doesn't get too loud. Of course, it's probably fun to record what we're all saying. You can get kind of silly. All right. Stopping this one. Okay, next one we have. Okay, two minutes for. Ba boom! Oh, the insect! Oh no! How are we gonna make this look cute? We're going scary. <laughs> I know there's a way to make this cute. Let's see. See if we can avoid too scary. What part of this beetle can we take? Hmm. That's a hard one. Big challenge there. All right, beetle time. Hmm. Where the legs seem the most obvious. All right, I'm gonna stick some legs down here. Something else will attach them later. All right, I'm going into the creepy zone. Can't avoid it. Beetle legs I can get. We've got 30 seconds. Oh, looks like I'm just gonna get one beetle leg. Ooh, that's gonna be really odd. All right. And done. Okay, that beetle was a toughie. I think just deciding what to do and where to put it was the most for that. All right, next one we got is, aw, a doe, a deer, a female deer. All right, here we go. Two minutes, 
go. This is just going to have a bunch of unusual legs. I get a deer leg. It's kind of shaped like an insect leg, just much bigger. So that's interesting. And with fur. Down here, make it start. Okay. Where are we at here? 40 seconds. Get some shading down here, shading over here. Let's do some hatch marks to show where the dark is. Hatch away. All right. Beetle leg, deer leg, four, three, two, one. All right, next. Move this down a little bit. Next we have, oh no, elephant butt. <laughs> So you can either choose textures of this or the tail. <laughs> You're doing the same animal, just a different view. All right, I got two minutes starting now. Now I'm gonna give it the elephant leg. Drawing the elephant is super interesting. It's all the detail on it, all the cracks and crevices. Pull it up here. Get the shading a little faster. Since this part's under the trunk, I'm going to make it a little bit darker in this area. Bring it down. Dark over here. Where are we at here? We've got 12 seconds. We got this. The last bits in. All right. Done our two minute mark there. Okay, next one's gonna be turtle. Turtle time. And go. Two minutes. Let's see, after this, we got one, two. So we got two more after this. I have plenty of time to share our pieces. Hmm. Put 
So call the queue. This has some fun, unusual cracks around it. Once again, it's a whole new texture you can play with. I don't feel like you have to draw every piece of detail. Sometimes just a few is good enough. Your mind will fill in the rest. All right, that one's a wrap. All right, I got two more. Next one is penguin. You all see that one? That a bigger penguin. Do you want penguin or panda? Let me unmute. Hang on. Okay, penguin. Oh, wait. Panda. Panda, 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 panda. Okay, all right, panda it is. Okay, the next two minutes, we got panda. Two minutes, go. I need another arm here. Panda's super cute. There's so many parts I could choose. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll do panda darkness around these eyes. Panda mask. I'm just gonna kind of block out that shape here. I'll go in and make some parts a little darker. Make these eyes pop a little bit more. Let's see, we're at got fifty seconds. These are moments if you get done with your piece, you can go in and kind of work some other areas you want to change up a little more. Darken this a little. Give it more of a shadow down here. Tuck these back more by darkening those legs. All right, two minutes again. This is the final piece. Let's see what we got here. Ba boom! The Mises. All right, last bit. Grab a piece of the mice you'd like to use. Tail, weird claws, eyes, nose, ears, and toss it in there. There's a few tails over here. Mouse tails. They're kind of cute twirling together. All right, now I'm going to get my line set up and go back in. Mice tail set.
see where we're at here. We got one minute. This is our last piece of the monster. So take a look at your piece and kind of think about the story behind it, where it's from, how it survives, what it needs day to day. I'm gonna go in and kind of do some last bits of llama dreadlocks, fill in my space. Lots of hair. It's all over. And I'll give it a base to stand on. Remember, try to give it some shadows, a place where it rests. Well, just need some extra time to give it a background. Make the shadows a little darker by its feet where it touches and then lighten it up in the outer area. Work in some more of this turtle egg. Make it more lights and darks. Okay, that'd be it. That's our final piece. All right, I'm gonna mute everyone. Have some chitty chat time. Okay, so has everyone had a chance to think about, you wanna take like a minute to think about your piece and kind of give it a backstory? Or maybe you share. How about how about one minute real quick, Kate, to like think about something you want to say. What is it called? Where does it live? What does it eat? Notes over here. So my creature's origins is it began as a woolly mammoth, um, and you can see all these really odd limbs down below. And the reason for that is there's the massive eye in the center, and that is the all-seeing eye. It was like this big third eye that just became upon it. And anytime it gazed upon something that it desired in any way, uh, it would just sprout parts of it onto its body, like limbs down here, um, you know, the, the hair, the llama. So basically anything that it saw, it just kind of popped into its body. You want to share, Muriel? Sure. Okay, I'm pinning so you. This is Amanda. Aww. <laughs> you made it cute. So what's the, what's coming so, out of your mouth? That's a trunk. Oh, cool. So anyways, it has both a trunk and a tail to balance out its gigantic head. It can live in all habitats because of its very diverse amount of features. Oh. It's got six eyes, so you can yeah. see everything. I can see that. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> it's kind of good to see a lot. <laughs> it can protect <laughs> itself easily that way. Nice. All right, Madison, you want to share? Okay. Sure. Here's this. Aw. That's cute. Basically, uh, its name is Bailey. It has a name because it is owned by this professor in some unknown island because this animal isn't supposed to be known by anybody else than him, but everybody knows it, but it's secretly. Anyway, basically, he breeded a bunch of animals together. It started out with just a deer, but then he started like breeding all of these animals together. And then he put like this giant, he had to make this potion. He had to make like deals with a witch and stuff. And uh -huh. he had to make a potion to make it like be cute. So, because at first it was really ugly and it had all these, ugly animals put together but then he got the witch's potion and he made it adorable yeah 
Nice, you rocked the adorable monster. Fantastic. All right, Ms. G-Bear, let me get you pinned up. All right, what you got there, girl? So basically, um, mine, so it was his father, its father was a clown, and its mother was a panda. So he <laughs> liked weird creature, and one of the red nose actually permanently got stuck to him, so was the hat. So he, he, so at the top of his head has like super big puffs of hair that he can't even clip off. It's always dry. And then he doesn't have a great sense of smell but there's a red nose block in it. And so basically, and when uh, his, and he accidentally stepped on two, uh, two mice. And so he stuck the two mice tails onto his tur turtle shell. Oh, I see. Looks like it's trying to balance on his mice tails. Yeah, it is fun to balance his whole body on these two little things. I mean, yeah. so this, the way he uh, gets around the places is he has to roll. Nice. Those are really strong mice tails. Well, that's super silly. Love it. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye.